one of the weird things about being a film critic is being asked for your response to trailers to movies. You know, when the Star Wars trailers come out, have you seen the new Star Wars trailer? What do you think? When Suicide Squad was coming out, I think people were more interested in responses to the trailer than to the film. And generally, I tend to try and avoid trailers because I like to see a film cold. However, there is a trailer which I've just seen recently for a film which is coming out on Friday, which has made me really excited. I think it's one of the most thrilling trailers I've seen in recent memory. It's a trailer for Napoleon from 1927, which is coming back to our screens thanks to the BFI. It's a restoration of Napoleon, which has been overseen by Kevin Brownlow, who first saw the film, I think back in 1954, and has tracked down elements from several different sources in order to create this most complete version. The BFI themselves have described this as the result of 50 years of work, going across generations of people working at the BFI. Brownlow has described it as a tremendous step forward for film history, and Carl Davis, whose score is on this new version, says, in the words of Napoleon, at last. So what is it about the trailer that looks so good? Well, firstly, it's been digitally restored. I mean, yes, all this stuff that we know about, the triptych ending, which is so spectacular. But when you see the trailer, it's the tinting that stands out the most. These vivid colours they couldn't have done with the 35mm prints from before, now digitally restored. The thing looks absolutely brilliant. Secondly, the score sounds wonderful. And thirdly, the trailer makes it look like a really urgent and important and contemporary piece of cinema, which, of course, it is. I can't remember the last time a trailer made me so excited about seeing a film. This was launched with a live performance in London with a live orchestral score, which I was very sad to miss. But the film is coming back into cinemas on Friday, also going to be available on DVD and Blu-ray. Whichever way you get to see it, honestly, it looks like one of the most exciting pieces of cinema you're going to see this year. It's going to screen at cinemas November, December and into January of next year. So you will have to track it down, but you will have chances to see it in a number of different locations. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen the trailer. It's made me really excited.